How to Knit a Rose Flower. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Mother's Day is upon us and I thought it would be really fun to knit her up some beautiful roses. Perfect all year round and great as embellishments on lots of fashions and home decor. Oh, this knitted rose video was suggested by a Studio Knit subscriber. So please comment, give me ideas of what you would like to see next, and hit like if you'd like to see more knitted flower videos like this. For our materials, we will use any weight yarn and the appropriate size knitting needles, scissors, and a tapestry needle. Your color choice is totally optional. So to begin, we are going to cast on six stitches. Once we've cast on our six stitches, we are going to simply knit those six stitches on row one. Next, we are going to do a knit one and then a yarn over. Now this yarn over goes clockwise around your needle it's an increase. So the yarn just stays there. And then you knit one again. And yarn over. And keep doing this on row two until you get to the very last stitch, which is simply knit one. So with your increases, you now have 11 stitches on your needle. Now for yarn overs, the yarn over part is pretty easy. It's knitting the next row after the yarn over that can be a little tricky. So I'd say take your time, pay attention to which was just the regular knit. Right here was the regular knit stitch. And that yarn over stitch is sort of at a diagonal there in the back. So now we are going to increase again from 11 to 21 stitches doing the exact same thing. So we're knitting and doing yarn over. And then on row five, we are going to again, just knit those 21 stitches. And again, take your time. Oh, it looks so pretty. Here we are on row six. We are going to continue in the same way. We're going to knit one and yarn over, knit one and yarn over until we get to that last stitch, which is just a knit one. Okay, row seven. We are going to knit those 41 stitches that we just created with our increases. So we're just knitting all the way across the row. Now it is our last increase row, row eight. We are going to knit and yarn over and knit and yarn over. And this is gonna take some time. We are going from 41 stitches all the way to 81 stitches. This is why I like to use longer needles. So you might wanna keep that in mind when you're picking out the knitting needles that you'll use. And again, on row nine, we're just knitting all the way across and definitely take your time because those yarn overs can be a little tricky to knit. Okay, here we are with our 81 stitches. And if you would like to make a special color edging like this right here, then just switch your yarn color for your bind off. So this is our bind off row. We just knit two and then we just take that one stitch and pass it over and continue this bind off method all the way down our row. And you'll see as we bind off, our row starts to take shape by sort of curling in as we're binding off. So here we are at the very end. 
Just pass that stitch over. And taking our tapestry needle, we'll just go ahead and weave that yarn in through. And let's take a look. That's our six stitches right there where we started. And look, it sort of made like a coil shape. It's really cool. Kind of like a rounded coil. So then we're just gonna take one of our ends and start to curl it into our row shape. And what I really like to do is have the outside edges a little bit taller than the inside of my rows to create my row shape. But you know, all flowers are different, so however you choose to do it will be beautiful as well. Now again, taking our tapestry needle, on that end, we'll just lightly tack our rows together. Now, depending on what you're using your rows for, if it won't get a lot of wear and tear, you can tack it really lightly. If you're going to, say, put it on something like a pillow, um, then where it'll get jostled around a lot, then you may want to um, tack it a little bit more securely. And then I like to take this yarn end down to the bottom of my flower where we have that other yarn end and then all we have to do is tie them together. I'm just going to tie twice so that they're secure and then I'm just going to cut my yarn end. So beautiful. I hope you are inspired to knit a rose of your own. Thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. Please subscribe and check out my complete Mother's Day DIY gift idea playlist, as well as how to order real roses from your local florist at Bloom Nation. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.